event in celebration of Global Entrepreneurship Week because there were going to be lots of activities in Bangkok and we wanted to complement those activities. Well, I'm very proud to tell you that you are at the most important Global Entrepreneurship Week event in all of Thailand tonight because the big events in Thailand got canceled because of the flood. <laughs> but the show must go on in Chiang Mai. You are here at the U.S. Consulate because the U.S. Consulate has been very involved in the Creative City Initiative. We started way back before I arrived with my predecessor, Mike Morrow, and Ambassador Eric John with a, two sets of conferences in February of 2010 and in June of 2010, talking about high-tech digital. And since I've arrived with the steering committee being established, we've looked at a whole array of ways of making Chiang Mai's creative economy viable and more dynamic. And just this year alone, I am proud to claim credit that we have, we're in the middle of the American Documentary Showcase, which we started on Friday of last week and which was at the Chiang Mai Art Center, for those of you who could go on Saturday with an excellent documentary called Make Believe, as well as others. We had a Connect USA event in Chiang Rai in September to show Thai businesses how to connect to U.S. businesses. We had a, bio, a biotechnology expert, which is why I'm speaking English, because I don't know how to say that in Thai. Uh, Andrew Powell, who came to Chiang Mai in, in August to talk about how biotechnology will help food security, mitigate climate change, and be a harbinger for innovation. And in fact, this week I wrote my column uh, in Thai News, I think you'll see it on Wednesday, on biotechnology. And we had a photographer, Curtis McElhaney, have the City of Angels exhibit in July at uh, the Central Airport Plaza. And some of you near and dear to your heart, we had an animation design expert, Kun Paitun Ratan, at the Chiang Mai Arts Center back in June. And in, we just had an exchange that we said Adan Padan, Perdon T to um, the United States, California with a group of other people mostly from Bangkok, so Ajahn Paradon was the only representative from Chiang Mai, to meet with uh, American animators, and I'm very pleased to hear that there will be follow-up activity here in Thailand next year. The United States is interested in all this because it's part of the Thai-U.S. Creative Partnership, which we're looking at as a way to continue innovation and economic development. It allows both countries to gener generate this innovation and it supports commercialization of in innovation. So that's what gets at helping the economy. And also it helps networking like events like this evening. So I'm no, I know that you don't want to hear me as much as you want to hear the experts, but I'm delighted that you could all join us this evening and I'm sure we're going to have a very productive time. Thank you. Thank you very much for the great opening speech. And then next I'd like to uh, invite Dr. Nat Warayot, the Vice President of Chiang Mai University and the Chairman of Chiang Mai Creative City Steering Committee. I probably follow the uh, Susan footsteps. I wouldn't spend too much time on my speech, but uh, let me uh, introduce the Chiang Mai Creative City. Susan already mentioned uh, a few meetings, a few conferences actually, organized by the uh, consulate uh, back in 2010. And by producing that, that the uh, uh, conference, the city of Chiang Mai itself has so much interest that in joining in that Chiang initiative, thinking of uh, having the ICT group investment here in Chiang Mai and probably bring the level of development of Chiang Mai itself into the creative city. And that's what we have, uh, that's, that's the beginning of the Creative City Committee uh, endorsed by the Governor Office. Before I start, I would like to thank the U.S. Consul General for making this special venue available. We also appreciate the support from all our sponsors that make this event happen. Today, we are here to talk about entrepreneurship. The Chiang Mai Creative City initiative, initiative itself aims to grow and diversify the economy of Chiang Mai, making Chiang Mai better known 
also facilitate greater cooperation between different stakeholders and create new jobs and opportunity along the way. Each week, the city itself in over 120 countries organize activities to support entrepreneurship. I'm proud and pleased that this year, for the first time, Chiang Mai is joining the, this Global Entrepreneurship Week. Many studies have shown over and over again that most new jobs, innovation, and economic value creation is due to entrepreneur startup started becoming SME and SME itself growing and bringing the development to the country. Of course, starting and growing company is not easy, but the reward can be significant. We also all can learn to be more entrepreneurial in the way that we run our organization, businesses, faculties, and also university too. We also need to create a better, more enabling environment and for the entrepreneur. The Shen Mai Creative Cities uh, Initiative and the uh, member of CMCC Development Committee recognize the importance of entrepreneurship. Critical is the role of the university, educating and preparing students in the best possibility way. Today's seminar and the networking event is a small step, but I'm pretty sure and I hope that we all find today use, useful and enjoyable. Thank you very much. Can we open up on the remarks? The next I'd like to introduce you to the chairman of the ICT group of the Joint Chamber, Joint Foreign Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Bob Fox, to give some remarks. I will try to follow the previous speakers and not pay too much attention to my speech. It's very nice to be here. It's an exciting time for all of us. We started exploring the creative economy some years ago and began to appreciate how much creativity, innovation, and the yearning for doing something new and fresh can change economies and can contribute positively to economic development, enriching communities and our lives. I had the privilege of speaking at the February 2010 conference here, which the Consul General referred to. I can assure you that every other paper at that conference was far superior to my own, so I learned a lot from other people. Our engagement with the founders and promoters of Chiang Mai Creative City has been a rich experience. We have learned much and hope to be able to contribute more through partnering, through promotion of the appreciation of entrepreneurship, innovation, and creativity in helping to draw in participants, investors, and positively influence policies in support of entrepreneurship, innovation, and creativity. The opportunities for participating, especially in IT, abound. We like the idea that we can foster or help foster the idea of a Made in Thailand brand and in particular, the Made in Chiang Mai brand, where the best and brightest from all over the world, Thailand and everywhere else, come here and create things here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Fox. So I hope tonight will be the starting point of some many Chiang Mai brand in IT industry. The next I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Martin Benfi Stalling to give the background of this uh, Global Entrepreneurship Week and how today is about. Thank you, Food Smith. Thank you very much. So I will also keep it very briefly. Um, we are organizing these creative coffees. Um, normally they are in the morning, normally there's coffee. Today there's beer, wine, and other drinks because A, it's in the evening, and B, it's together with the uh, bar camp and beer camp group and they said after six o'clock we want the beer so there we are we will have beer after this and i think some of you already have beer so uh so today is a great beer event maybe um so this is an activity that we do as a creative city team if you like actually anybody can do this and approach us and use the logo to create events um to promote creativity in chiang mai we also have more formal events by the development committee, 
uh, you know, once, once a month, every two months or so. These are the events that we run in more uh, a variety of locations. And a while ago, we came across the Global Entrepreneurship Week movement, which is started by the Kaufman Foundation and Foundation in the US that supports entrepreneurship. We found out that there are exciting things like startup weekends and other things that we might do in the future. Um, but also that in one week per year, there is a, a week of celebrating and supporting entrepreneurship. And we thought we need to put Chiang Mai onto the map for that. So we contacted them, we registered. Um, if you go to the website, you won't see it that Chiang Mai is registered because there's a hiccup with their system. But we told them that we're doing this event and we're part of the movement. And what I will do now is I will show you a short video clip that I think is ready there if you could um, double click on that. We are committed to foster entrepreneurship and innovation in Chile. We have uh, set a very ambitious target of uh, transforming Chile into a developed country uh, during this decade. And in order to get to that uh, end, we have to promote uh, productivity, innovation, entrepreneurship. In Denmark, we will now focus on renewed growth and entrepreneurship. We have to encourage everybody with an idea, the right motivation, and a will to become an entrepreneur to pursue their dreams. And I actually see the Global Entrepreneurship Week as one way of making this happen. In this new decade, we face many challenges. However, by learning from each other and sharing new ideas, entrepreneurs across the world are prepared to solve these problems. People like you, who have gathered in over a hundred countries for Global Entrepreneurship Week. It has been the risk takers, the doers, the makers of things who have carried us up the long, rugged path toward prosperity and freedom. Uma iniciativa em rede, expressão mundial, visa despertar, estimular e mobilizar, sobretudo junto das gerações mais jovens, o espírito empreendedor, a criatividade e a capacidade de inovar. O empreendedorismo ganha em contrapartida novas razões para ser assumido como peça-chave do progresso económico e social no país. Global Entrepreneurship Week specifically is a chance to realize that you're not alone in this movement. Global Entrepreneurship Week provides a mechanism, actually a year-long mechanism for people to get involved in entrepreneurship and a focal point. As a director for entrepreneurship in the Netherlands, I'm very proud of our cooperation. I'm looking forward to further intensify its cooperation. And I'm certainly looking forward to the next Global Entrepreneurship Week and all the positive energy the young and active entrepreneurs will bring to our society. China is a 
Last year we had an opportunity during Global Entrepreneurship Week um, to have students in a class of ours in Baltimore um, talking to students in a class of ours in Ireland. Um, all who were in the process of developing their first business plans. It was a great, great exchange. Global Entrepreneurship Week is allowing all of that enthusiasm and all of those extraordinary people taking risks and doing extraordinary things to get more attention. Global Entrepreneurship Week will be going off in almost every country in the world. And what it says is that probably half a billion people in one week will think about a different career for themselves. They will see in Global Entrepreneurship Week a moment, a second, a day, a lecture, a TV show, a program in which they reconceive of what they were going to do with their lives. So if you could just um, close your eyes for a second and think about it, that over a hundred countries in the world Several cities in each country, several cities organizing several events, and Chiang Mai is part of that. We are together here with the world to celebrate entrepreneurship. There are still many challenges here, but we are trying to make a statement that we are part of it. So, let's move on. That's all I have to say, and I would like to hand back to our MC, Mr. Smith, to introduce our next speakers and then the panelists. Thank you. Martin for the interesting videos. Uh, I'd like to wrap up a little bit in Thai for people here. So we have uh one knee, the menu cat TV and have tea to tan day come room can have to have the way they want creative coffee and have that the way Chiang Mai creative city with Chiang Mai Ming Sang 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 Chiang Mai Ming Sang 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 ภาษาไทยเรียกว่าสัปดาห์ผู้ประกอบการโลกนะครับคือมี100ประเทศทั่วโลกที่จัดงานเฉลิมฉลองนี้ในหนึ่งสัปดาห์นะครับทุกๆประเทศเนี่ยจะมี 2-3 สเมืองเนี่ยจัดขึ้นมาด้วยกันนะครับเราเป็นหนึ่งในหลายร้อยล้านคนที่ได้เข้าร่วมในงานครั้งนี้นะครับก็ขออินดีต้อนทุกท่านนะครับ so the next will be talking about entrepreneurship and we have the real entrepreneur here we have two of them, and we give them an expert today, and they will tell us what a secret, how experience will be, what reward that they receive as an entrepreneur. Today we will uh, have a chance to listen to uh, Talk about the real entrepreneur, the real entrepreneur. Yeah, the real entrepreneur is this. And spending cash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next will be Kun uh, Swen Ernst. He's the managing director of Basru Thailand. He will come and give us a presentation on entrepreneurship. Please give a hand. Yeah. 